Leave it let's go on to second down, brothers, and let's turn it around to some football here. Week one is done. It is complete. And let me tell you, this was the wildest day one. It was very wild. We it up to that first game and everything that was going down. And one of the wildest stories was out there in Miami. Now, the Dolphins ended up winning their debut game 20 to 17 over the Jags. But the story was before the game and everything that happened with Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill apparently was speeding. He stopped right there at the stadium, right there at his workplace. And we saw the footage of him being arrested, well, being detained, being handcuffed, being put on the ground, you know, standing out there, then being forcibly set down, um, teammates pulling up and getting detained as well. Then we had body camera, uh, body camera footage that came out later, the altercation, you know, if y'all got a chance to listen to that and Tyree kill, um, Today on Wednesday was saying, you know, he had remarks saying about how he could have handled this situation better himself. You know, he took some accountability and said, I could have handled myself better in the situation. Looking back at the video and looking outside of myself and thinking about what I could have done differently internally than, you know, different than what I was, my mind was thinking at the time. But I'm not, you know, letting the officer off the hook for what he did as well. You know, he needs to own up to his own actions as well. What did, what did y'all feel whenever you saw this with Tyreek Hill? I'm sorry, in that first. profession, I, I know it's just one of those professions where you have to, whenever I just, I started thinking about all of the instances anybody of interaction with cops in a situation and how traffic, like, I don't want to hear no more about, the traffic oh, things if he always did this, if he would have just the car or, why ain't he just roll down and the window all the way and every lot time of all these escalated situations no, like, that don't have to be? You are in that level as a cop, same old hat, it's, and that control over someone in that situation. It's the like I feel like you always have to have the clearer head. Like I said, they have the clearer like head. I've seen plenty of videos own, of white folks giving this, cops the business, to us. the business, um, and they pull a gun. And these are um, navigate and doing whatever these they actual want to cops, do. man. They don't, they yeah, don't, for some they're not receiving with the, us, the appropriate training. Like, those situations are to tense. Like, these, I don't, uh, it's, it's just such a, a tense and situation. You just situations never know that how you're going to react sometimes in those situations. Um, and sometimes you they, might not react. They the actually best come way. in, but you're with not on the shoulders. I mean, and who does it? They tell me he didn't know who Tyreek Hill was. To actually exactly. talk to an individual. <laughs> you didn't know it is right here um, in the state. You didn't know all the these these other people, dudes rolling up like you didn't. You know, react to like what is the threat? Um, Come mm -hmm. on now, guarantee in Florida, Tyreek don't know who he is. The way he yeah, acted, man. if he wasn't approached in the manner that he was approached, it don't make no sense. Like, and just, that's usually the case when I, they see an African American male, like how anybody with, could. Possible the dreadlocks of, uh, in their hair, the or I just really don't. Um, you know, I, braided I, hair or anything Afrocentric experiences, um, you know, or any individual um, that when I used to like the quote unquote norm braids, um, you know, they're going to cops treated me different. Cops are going to behave oh, yeah. in a certain manner mm -hmm. than when I was clean and, cut. Um, it is that. what it is, and it when I had braids. I used to get stopped you know, needs on the to regular, preach loud and clear. Now, but it is when, when we were living in East Greensboro, stop. North Carolina. Period. I used to get stopped so many times just because of the way I look. Now, as soon as I cut cut my braids, and you know, just had an even Stephen going, I ain't get stopped not one. <laughs> And I don't think it was a coincidence, man. I it's, it's just, it's our society, man. I'm just over the expectation that you have to be 100% well-behaved. Yeah. yeah. You can't show any emotion. You can't be upset as a person on the other side. You have to show deference. And they have to be the leader, they have to be the godlike figure. You have to give them respect. You're going to respect me. 
I don't care what kind of car you drive. All I saw was jealousy. He saw a black person with a car that he cannot afford unless he does something under the table. And he's like, well, I'm going to exert my power by showing that I'm above you in this instance right here. And I'm going to make sure that you're aware of that. And since I don't like your tone, I don't like the way you're addressing me, I'm going to make you get out of the car and I'm going to put you in your belly. And then I think Tyree told that, hey, I had surgery on my knee. You know, you're hurting my knee. Mm-hmm. And then he said, I don't, give, I don't care about your knee. This is heart, They're heartless and they're cruel. Like, why are you in this profession? Are you in this profession actually to protect and serve? Are you in this profession to have some kind of dominance over somebody because you were a punk in high school? I mean, they have complexes. That's that's who they are. I agree. I agree. And you just want to, but something like this, it can galvanize. I feel like the brother. It seemed to really galvanize a brotherhood with the Dolphins. I love that part with yeah. this. Yeah, I like. I, I like that though. The, the brothers did stick together, man. That was that was good to see. Said, that yeah, was. Yeah, you, you, we going with you. So yep. I, and the time we give a mention that he's like, yeah, we're we're a team now. Like, we are a team. So I think yeah. that could really be a galvanizing force, like you just saying, throughout the yeah. Season. It's somebody those situations can bond you, bond you, yeah. bond you, bond you. Oh, All yeah. right. Uh, let's go on to the Jets and Niners. Come on, Carlin, uh, Niners. Look at my background, baby. Look at mine Look at too, fella. I not to spank spank some tail on Monday night there, thirty-two to nineteen over those Jets. You know that little nineteen, that that little late touchdown. I guess we we'll give you that. We'll give you that little old touchdown there. But the bit story coming in: Christian McCaffrey scratched an hour before the game. Jordan Mason showed up, twenty-eight carries, one hundred and forty-seven yards. But Jordan Mason spilled a little tea after the game, too, in this interview. <laughs> Whenever they asked him, when did you find out you were starting? He said, Friday. <laughs> Not thinking that. Uh, they just uh, they just said just an hour before the game that Christian was scratch. Everybody thought he was playing up until then. Now, the NFL isn't investigating. It doesn't look like there's no 49ers gate going on. But it does have some of the people talking about that. Um, and the people are talking about the Jets. If this is a bad sign for the Jets this game, or don't get too overworked because it's week one. I think uh, Aaron Rodgers looked bad. He looked old. He did look old, didn't he? He, was, uh, he looked old. Scrambling there, I, I, I felt kind of sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he looked he, – he looked – he looked real bad. Uh, he looked like Joe Namath. Yeah, he he still has a you know a, a fantastic arm, but you know, I'll give it to the 49ers. The scheme that that uh, you guys have for your backs. If I was a running back, a multi skilled running back, I'd love to be uh, on the 49ers offense. Absolutely. I I hate. I hate y'all with a passion, but <laughs> <laughs> but if I was a multifaceted running back like um, the young man that that ran the other day, what's his name? Mason. Jordan Mason. Ma- Mason, and um, of course McCaffrey. Uh, I-, I would love to be in the- be in their shoes. It's that system is just built for like. I just love it. Like if you're a ba- and and the backs run so hard, like oh, they just yeah. run hard. They don't do that little pity paddling, dancing around, look at like. Nope. They get. Yeah. They go <laughs> north to south, north to south, yeah. baby. Yeah. yeah, north south, one cut and they hit the hole. One cut and that's it, exactly. So I'm going to um, give the Jets fans a little bit of hope here. I'm not going to be too hard on them. Um, first of all, Shanahan had all summer to gear up for this game. After that devastating loss in the Super Bowl, he was going to come out here to make it. So it's like he had all summer to game plan for this game. So I, 
I wouldn't get too caught up in how they overmatch the defense because it was just a bad matchup for one for them. So, um, but it was a good precursor for them when they played Miami because Miami's in the division and they have a similar type of offense as philosophy. So it was good practice for them uh, for later on down the road. And two, Rodgers hasn't played it for two years, well, two or three years. His mobility's gone. He's not the Aaron Rodgers that we're used to seeing, that's for sure. But it's just, I look at the NFL a little bit different now because the starters don't play at all, really, in the preseason anymore. So I look at the first quarter, the first four games, kind of like preseason. So I don't get too bent out of shape about the first four games of the season. Now, come week five, <laughs> if they're still looking like this, I think we have a problem. I'm gonna give them a little. I'm gonna give them a little runway. I'm gonna give them about two or three weeks to get us together. All right, Mister Hopeful. Maybe. A lot of optimism tonight from Carlin. <laughs> hey, somebody's <laughs> got to bring the optimism, baby. Mister Optimism, bring back over optimism. There. <laughs> A whole lot of optimism. Well, you I, know what? I'm, I'm more in in realism, not fantasy. <laughs> it's one game. <laughs> What game it doesn't make the whole season? No, it doesn't. But Aaron Rodgers is old, and he looks bad. Well, that's for sure. Now, that's for certain. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely old, and he's immobile now. He can't run around like he used to. <laughs> but the offensive line did play a lot better than I thought they were going to panic. Yeah, he didn't right. get hurt. Let's go on to the Packers. Now, there was an entertaining game on Friday night, 34-29, to the Eagles over the Packers, but the bit news was Jordan Love with his MCL sprain. Now, it's not being ruled out him not playing Sunday in the latest news. Boo! <laughs> Sit down somewhere! <laughs> he has not been ruled out of the game. Uh, so that, you know, that that kind of gives like some some reason to not be too worried, but they are in a very, very tough division and they're already 0-1 right now. And now they have Mark Willis as their starting quarterback going forward until Jordan Love gets back right. Um, y'all think if – if how soon will he need to return here? Like, I don't think he's going to come back week two. But then making it look like a week three is is possible. But I was thinking he was going to be gone a good, like, five weeks or so at least. Well, they're going to be 0-2 after this week. <laughs> Who they play this week? The Colts. Oh, they, they both got to win that game. And the Colts look pretty good. Yeah, they did. That was a great game. Is uh, it in Indianapolis or Green no, Bay? No, it's in Green Bay. It's in Green Bay, but they still going down. If Love doesn't play, they going down. down so down. is Jordan Love really that guy, y'all? Who Love? Yeah, is he Love? is he really that guy to y'all? I think Love is nice. I think that I think he's he's actually a baller. I don't know if he's worth all the money they're giving him, but I think I think for sure he's he's that he's nice. I agree. I mean, I well, I kind of figured when they didn't put Love on the IR that he was not going to be out four games. so. But to play him next week will be stupid. So yeah. I don't think they, they're going to do yeah. that. That's just be dumb. Yeah. yeah. But I think he's going to – they're going to shoot him up and have him ready for week three. Oh, week three he's going to play. <laughs> Definitely week four, possibly week three. But yeah. uh, Cameron, to answer your question, he's he's that guy. I like that he does – he's not afraid to go to throw the ball down the field. Like, he's, it's a West Coast yeah. offense – but he would take a chance. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. He but definitely he will. But, you know, he's got the moxie. And, you know, if you got a kid that can can win the locker room, you're going yep. you, you to win. You're going to win a lot of games. Those guys and love him. Yep. And he love, won love the locker guys. room. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I agree. No, that's true. I, that's true. And I've, I, I'm, I've come around more to him. It's just like when it comes down to some of those critical plays, like he still kind of makes that mistake. He, he's young. He's going to make those yeah. mistakes. He, yeah. He's young. You got to stop hating on the lights, man, brother. 
<laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. There's something going on over there. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I don't think that the vision is going to be as tough as you think it is um, at, by the end of the year. I think it's going to be the Lions that Green Bay definitely are the top two dogs in that division. Okay. All right. Lions to lose. It's the Lions <laughs> division yeah. to lose. It's on the Lions yeah. bracket. Definitely. Yeah. In tennis terms. Yeah. Definitely. Well, 